Hello and welcome to the YouTube channel of mprugs.com. My name is Mike. I'm the moderator in a series of videos that is all about carpets from around the world. In today's episode, I'm going to feature a design that you will probably have seen that um, it is oftentimes featured, whether it is in this case right here, I'm going to show you several examples of Turkish hurricane rugs that have this beautiful, what is known as a Merab design. But a lot of you don't actually know where this design came from and the meaning behind it. So what I thought about doing was in this video show you how the architecture and how religion, culture and all of that came together and how you have these beautiful handmade carpets which again in this case it's, these are perfect examples these are the Turkish Herike rugs and I'm going to explain to you a little bit about the Merab design the thinking about it and also showcase you a couple of rare pieces like for example this very hard to find Aussie pack this is a Turkish Herike from the Ozipak workshop that doesn't exist anymore. But this is such a unique piece that I not I want I uh, figured when we got this, it would be a perfect way for me to showcase and explain to you a little bit about the design because it's really popular. And um, basically the Merab design, and this is what you also see throughout the Middle East. Um, anywhere where there is basically, generally speaking, mosques, um, religious sites, uh, places where Muslims would gather, you will find that there is a piece of almost like a window or something that has been almost carved into a wall. You will oftentimes see this in mosques when you look inside and it looks like basically as you can see here we have several examples um, and what this is is a window that points towards Mecca this is the Merab um, you will find this throughout the Middle East and it basically lets people know that hey if you're going to be praying this is the way you're going to be praying towards Mecca this is why this design is also oftentimes incorporated in prayer rugs you will find this also generally speaking um, in Turkish rugs, very common in the Persian rugs, and also in it has now spread. Um, it's also incorporated, for example, in the Indian rugs and everything. And it's a beautiful design when you see it in the carpets, but a lot of people don't actually know what the meaning behind it is. So, this Merab design, um, like I said, it is inspired by architecture, but you will also see it in various different types of Turkish silk rugs. And so what I thought about doing was I was going to showcase several examples of them because some of them are more classic. Some of them are more unique, like in this case right here with this Aussie pack. But what is in almost all of them, what they have in common, especially the silk ones, is people typically they hang these on walls. I mean, nowadays, um, our collectors, obviously, this is not something that you would have to purchase and hang towards Mecca. This is something that the collectors, uh, many of my collectors, uh, many of my clients who collect these pieces, they get these because of the beauty of it, the hand work, uh, the workmanship, the quality and the connection that it has with the culture, with the history and everything else. So a lot of my clients, they like to hang these on walls. But what I thought about doing was I'm going to showcase a few examples of them. And I'm going to start out right here with this beautiful Aussie pack. 
And uh, unfortunately, you're not here to actually be able to hold it in your hands. But um, this is a prime example of what the old Aussie Pack workshop was all about. Um, signature at the top. The Aussie Pack Association, this is the type of Harakir rug that I have featured in many of my other videos. But what you will see is that it's the kind of workmanship that you don't find nowadays. But the Aussie Pack workshop also featured rugs with colors and designs that you oftentimes don't find in other types of Harakir rugs. And in this particular piece, what I was absolutely drawn to it when I, when I was able to see it and then uh, purchase it, I figured this is the type of Herike that my clients absolutely are passionate about. It's an older piece, but what you will notice inside the Merop design in every single window is a different animal on display in different colors with the exception of the center one. The center one, and this is very classic with the Turkish Herike, you will see the oversized flowers and the vase. And then you have the chandelier above it. But other than that, you have eight different animals and you have lots of animals throughout the design and everything but this is the type of piece that my collectors they love to get these because these are not that common i mean and this right here you're talking about a piece that is easily 50 plus years old and so they yeah, obviously they don't make these anymore but what is unique about this, you have this beautiful rendition of the Mirad design, and then you have different animals featured in each one. That is what I wanted to showcase. I mean, like I said, when I saw this, I absolutely fell in love with this. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a few other examples of, we're talking about the Mirad design. And uh, this, before I go on, I just wanted you to know, um, the, as our channel keeps growing, if you have questions about rugs that you may have or something, or if you need more information, check them out in the description. We have lots of information there. If you own a rug and you need some questions about them, um, I have a link below in the description. Feel free to watch that quick video it tells you what kind of pictures i need and everything and then simply email me the pictures and i can certainly take a look at the rugs and get back to you we also do about one or two videos a month or so and so if there's something that you if this is what you're interested in please feel free to subscribe to our channel and um so having done all that out of the way here we have a piece that is also herike but this design right here, this is classic in the lower quality Purcell Kayseri rugs. And you, they feature these rectangular Mirab design that you will find they typically have between three to five pieces depending on the size of the rug. And they, have, they tend to be rectangular, they tend to have a light blue, beige, and then this looks like a pinkish orange. Very, very classic. This is what you would typically find, like I said, Kaiseris and Herakes. If you look for the Kaiseri rug, right here is the name of it. If you Google them, you will find a lot of pieces that feature these types of mirror designs colors and everything. So here is another piece, right example of it. Again, this is also an Aussie pack as the previous one, the first one that I showed you. And this is again a classic example. Whether you, um, well, if you look at the rug and you compare it to the architecture, you will notice the similarities. You typically have large bouquet flowers 
representing love and happiness and basically all of the positive feelings that the flowers bring about. And then you also have the large chandeliers. And this is also very, very classic. You will find it both in architecture as well as in these carpets. And so you, generally speaking, when you look at the mirror design in the rugs, when you have a large piece like this, that is just one, that features just one single mirror design, you typically, this right here is very classic with the columns on both sides, with the flowers and everything. So this right here, perfect example. So here's another piece right here, absolutely beautiful. And you will, notice, you will notice that this one also features a tile design that is something that is more common in the Persian rugs. So, but, um, and sometimes you can see the connection and the cultural inner um, weaving between the Persian culture and the Turkish culture and how the two of them influenced each other. This is very classic for Persian works, but here you have a beautiful hurricane. You see the large piece right here in the center. Again, you have the chandelier, you have the flowers, you have the column. This is a perfect example of the Merab design. But then you also have regular almost like Persian rug patterns. And this is something that you will see sometimes in Nain rugs. You'll see it in the Isfahans, um, sometimes to a lesser degree in the Tabriz rugs, but just absolute beautiful rendition. Now, in addition to that, I'm just going to step aside. I'm going to showcase a few other types of the Merab design, here you have another, a blue Aussie pack. This is, again, very, very classic. And then here you have also another older Heraki piece. And again, you can see the multitude of the Merab designs. Um, this tile design, like I said, it's classic, very popular. But these are the types of rugs that oftentimes is referred to as prayer rugs. But the main thing is I wanted you to take away from this is this is a rug design that has obviously been, um, it's, well, inspired by architecture, the history and the culture of the various people throughout the Middle East. It's an Islamic design. It basically, as I mentioned before, in the architecture, it is the mirror design, the windows, the way it was done inside of mosques, and also any large buildings. This is a place that basically lets those, uh, lets the Muslims know that if you look at, if you're looking at the mirror, you're basically looking in the direction of Mecca. So this is what you have right there. So for those of you that are into Persian rugs and the designs and the cultures, I hope you enjoyed this video. It is one of many videos that we have. Um, feel free, to, like I said, to subscribe if you are into the handmade carpets, if you like to learn more about them. There is also, as I mentioned to you, lots of information below. So um, until I come back, I wish you and your family the very best and look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care.